What's up, guys? Messenger here, broadcasting deep within the Earth's core, bringing you the latest and greatest in gaming technology. Today, we're bringing you another video in the Four Dummies series. The tune we are looking at, one of my all-time favorites, don't ask me why. Skull Mage. That's right. The mage with massive horns on his head, killer shoulder pads, and a skirt, but he don't care. He's a tune that's been around from the beginning of time. Wrecking face all over Clash of Lords 2. Let's look at what he does. I have him pumped up the Leo, and he still only has 48k health and 4279 attack. But that's not why we like him. Actually, that's one reason probably to hate him. But when we get into his abilities, is why you would use Skull Mage. First off, you have to be a fan of Wizards. Wizards pump out the most damage in the game. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of damage, therefore I like Wizards. When I use his ability, now it's 16 out of 20 right now, increase his attack by 304. So my 1147 wizards just went to 14 freaking, what is that, 50? 1450? Just by pushing a button. Pretty sick, right? And, this is what I really like, attack rate by 50%. Holy smokes. That's what I'm talking about. Their attack rate just jumps crazy for 15 seconds. So for 15 seconds, when I push a button, I'm doing so much more damage with my wizards. But wait, that's not all. It's not just Skull Mage's wizards. It's everybody's wizards that I have out there. So when I run Ambrosia and her wizards, when I run, mm, who else? Glory Priestess and her wizards. I know I got more. Where are you hiding? When I run Pangali and his wizards? Not really sure if Pangali is a boy or a girl. In fact, I really don't even know what the heck Pangali is. What is that thing? But I digress. When I push that button, all wizards just do a crap ton more of damage. We like damage. But let's look at the abilities over here now. So this is the Here Evolve tree for him. Okay, just got a little health and a little attack here in the beginning. Then you get to the Fortitude Guardian Devil. I'll let you read that on your own. Well, maybe you've never seen it before, so I'll read it for you, okay? Upon death, turns into a specter, aka ghost, and latches onto one of your towers, increasing its damage by 33%, Damage reduction by 41% and attack rate by 21%. Once the tower is destroyed, it moves on to the nearest tower until all towers are destroyed. So you see him floating around from tower to tower, giving it that buff. Okay, then you got the next one here, just a little damage reduction. Then the, then the Divine Amnesty returns full HP to hero and all wizard mercenaries. Also grants immunity to attacks, increasing damage by 30%, attack rate by another 20%, and speed by 50% for 7 seconds. Okay? That's crazy. But if, you, if you're a beast and you get this thing pumped up even higher, I mean, look at this. Now the numbers go to damage by 45%, rate by 33%, speed by 70%. The Guardian Devil up here... Numbers going crazy high. And then this one, if, you, if you're if you awesome enough to get the Pisces, you're a baller. Damage is increased by 60%, rape by another 50%, and speed by 100% for 15 seconds. That's a 15 second steroid. You're just pumping into that dude's arm, and all the wizards around you rejoice. But wait, there's more. His hero aid skill is insane, so... Years from now, when this Skull Mage might become obsolete, you will never feel bad that you've pumped him up because his hero aid skill is sick. Increases a deployed hero's attack by 40%. 40%. That's a 12 at 12. Hmm, let me think. Who likes extra attack? Um... Let me think, everybody. I think Abyss Demon likes it because his HP restores based off of damage he deals, 
which is based off of attack. Ambrosia likes it. I know Ambrosia likes it, man. There's her stuff right there. I mean, you just throw that on any hero that wants attack, and you just gave them a 40% attack boost. Who doesn't want that? I mean, if, if I threw this out on Ambrosia, and I don't even have her hero talents right yet, I mean, that goes from 8k to 12k. That's awesome. A third more attack. Just like that. Poof. Third more attack. So let me show off the abilities, I guess. Let's just go attack. Let me make sure my formation's right. All right, let's go attack something. All right, this will be easy. So we're throwing them, throwing them down. I've got all my wizards out there. All right. Here's the here's the, the the attack rate boost, and as you can see, the little icons floating over all their heads. All my little wizards got little blue orbs floating above their heads. And now I'm going to use the divine and watch all the wizards. Where's some wizards? Here's some down here, in the bottom. You're going to see them get the buff. And there's the buff. All right, they got the speed. They're glowing gold. They're doing extra attack rate extra damage just pumping it out we'll do it one more time that one was kind of hard to see we'll use it earlier but it, as you saw it was all wizards it wasn't just like oh here's a few no it was all my wizards and i'll do it earlier so you can see it all right, there's the normal ability, just the attack rate going up. As you can see, they just blow through some things when that is up. All right, here's the ability. Here's the Leo going off. They're floating in gold. They got a little extra speed. They're just burning through stuff. Coupling it with the normal ability. I mean, it's awesome. I really want to get that up to Pisces. That's probably one that I probably shouldn't do it, but I might if I feel cold and lonely one day and feel like Skullmish could warm me up with some awesome ability warmth, I might just do it. So, that's Skullmage in a nutshell. Four dummies. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share the crap out of this video. We're growing the channel. We're doing a great job. You guys are the reason for it. Follow me on Twitter. Let's get the tweets rocking. Stay in touch with you guys throughout the day. That's an easy way to get a hold of me. Comment below. I respond to every single comment. If you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace!